reliable 100% fiber internet. Kaya ang sarap maging tambahay with Red Fiber. Today on Rappler. A Manila court junks the Justice Department's petition to declare the CPP-NPA as terrorists. Ukrainian President Zelensky calls on the United Nations to punish Russia. Eraserhead's members speak up on abuse allegations against bandmate Marcos Adoro. The written lyrics of Don McLean's Vincent is up for auction for at least $1 million. Extraordinary Attorney Wu star Park Yoon Bin is coming to Manila. And Roger Federer says he will not become a tennis ghost. A Manila court dismisses the petition of the Department of Justice that seeks to declare as terrorist the Communist Party of the Philippines' New People's Army. The decision says terrorism does not flourish in a healthy, vibrant democracy. The court also notes that the atrocities in question only qualify as rebellion and not terrorism. In February 2018, the DOJ filed a prescription case against the CPP-NPA with the Human Security Act as basis. This prescription case was filed even before the anti-terror law was passed. This means the government can still declare the rebels as terrorists using the draconian law. President Volodymyr Zelensky demands a special United Nations tribunal impose just punishment on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. A special tribunal should be created to punish Russia for the crime of aggression against our state. Russia should pay for this war with its assets. Zelensky's recorded address to the UN General Assembly comes after Russian President Vladimir Putin mobilized 300,000 reserves, a first since World War II. Putin also threatened to use nuclear weapons to defend Russia. Zelensky's calls include financial penalties and stripping Moscow of its veto power in the Security Council. Many delegates give Zelensky a standing ovation. Eraserheads Eli Buendia and Raymond Marasigan address the issues surrounding bandmate Marcos Adoro, who has an alleged history of abuse. Fans are concerned over the reunion concert and criticize the other members for being silent. Adoro's former partner, actress Barbara Ruaro, and daughter singer Sid Hartha accuse Adoro of domestic violence. Many fans call for Adoro to be replaced by a different guitarist. Marasigan says he's open to speaking privately with Adoro about the matter. Buendia, through his manager, says he would not work with Adoro if the issues were not resolved. Adoro has yet to issue a statement. The original handwritten lyrics of Don McLean's song, Vincent, a tribute to painter Vincent Van Gogh, are going up for auction for $1 million. The lyrics to the song are scrawled in pencil on green paper. They are now the star item among a collection of personal items that are being sold by the American singer-songwriter for auction. Among his treasure trove are 25 guitars, jewelry, stage-worn clothing, and vintage watches. Vincent is perhaps McLean's most famous song after American Pie, the lyrics of which sold for $1.2 million at an auction in 2015. Extraordinary Attorney Wu star Park Yoon Bin is coming to Manila for the first time. Yoon Bin note Bin Kan in Manila is happening on Sunday, October 23 at the SM Sky Dome. Her other Asia stops include Bangkok, Singapore, and Tokyo. Yoon Bin recently starred as Attorney Wu Yong Wu in Netflix's hit legal K-drama Extraordinary Attorney Wu. She plays a young, intelligent lawyer on the autism spectrum. Yun Bin starred as Attorney Wu alongside actor Kang Tae-yo, who recently began his mandatory military enlistment. Roger Federer assured fans he will not become a tennis ghost following his decision to retire from competitive tennis. The 41-year-old says he had no intention of walking away from a sport, saying fans will see him again, but he is unsure in what capacity and needs time to think about it. Federer says he was not willing to risk it all by having more surgery on his troublesome right knee. 
Federer announced last Thursday that the Laver Cup would be the last act of his 25-year career. And that's today's wrap. I'm Chai Hofelenia. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.